Okay guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, my wife and I and my oldest son, Cody, decided to go over to Hawaii and try an Axis deer hunt. We spent a couple of days on Oahu, where Honolulu is, before we flew over to the island of Molokai. Alright, where are we, Lynn? Waimea Falls. Waimea Falls on the island of Oahu. Yes. On the north shore of Hawaii. This is a monkey pod tree. It's humongous. It goes all the way over there across the river. This was a fun hunt. Uh, my wife enjoyed it also because she got to hang out by the pool and the beach. So we all had a good time. Um, the hunt itself was uh, harder than you might think. Um, a lot of up and down on the mountains, a lot of rocks. It was a little harder to self-film on this hunt because of all the hiking. And even when we set up a blind to hunt out of, it was just a makeshift blind. It wasn't a permanent blind. But uh, we saw a lot of deer and we had a, had a good time. You'll probably notice on this video I've got a little more scenery shots in here than normal. Um, Hawaii is a very beautiful place and everywhere you look the scenery is just spectacular. Uh, here we're on the north shore of Oahu um, but we're getting ready to head over to the island of Molokai. Before we left though, uh, right on the outskirts of town we, were, we had a rental car. We were just driving around and we just stumbled upon an archery range. The archery range was right on the side of the road and so we stopped and took a few shots. We hopped on a small plane and when we left Honolulu, we flew right over Waikiki Beach. And again, the scenery was just uh, really spectacular and the, the blue water and the contrast of the water, just really a, a fun little trip. Uh, also, we flew over Diamond Head. You can see that in the little bit of the video here as well. So the first day we climbed up a small mountain and uh, set up a blind over looking over this valley right here and uh, we set up on a game trail and then Cody uh, went over and set up on another trail. Uh, we saw some deer that day but we didn't get any shots. Uh, the next day we went up a fairly steep mountain, it's about a four mile hike up and uh, we saw a lot of deer up on top, they were, they were everywhere. Um, the guide had actually packed his rifle up there with us and um, Cody and the guide had gone ahead. I was, had dropped back where some deer were crossing a trail and um, they had gotten set up and I didn't know it because I wasn't with them but uh, they had spotted a decent deer on the opposite hillside. Well, that's when Cody had made the decision that uh, he was going to just go ahead and shoot one with the gun. I think after chasing them around uh, for a little bit, you realize how hard it's going to be to actually get close enough to one with a bow to shoot it. And so I was uh, sitting over this trail where these deer were walking by, and all of a sudden the gun went off. It scared me. I wasn't prepared for it. But uh, Cody made a great shot on a, a nice axis buck, uh, about 285-yard shot and uh, dropped it in its tracks. So because I didn't know he was gonna shoot, I didn't film, but here's the deer.
Okay, let's get back to the hunting. Our guide had a house in the edge of the woods and they had actually set up a old bathtub out in the back about 100 yards behind the house and filled it with fresh water. So we hunted over that a couple of times in a makeshift ground blind, but all we had to come in was this little guy here. We hunted for four days on Molokai. We never got close enough to a uh, axis deer with antlers to shoot it with a bow. So the last afternoon, we decided to set up over this little valley. This valley was about 75 to 80 yards across, depending on where you measured it from. There were several trails close to us but as the afternoon wore on, we realized that most of the deer that were coming down this valley were coming down on that opposite side over there. Fortunately, we had several does and yearlings come down first, so I was able to get a good range on them with my rangefinder. We continued to watch the does and yearlings come down the valley and then finally we had this young buck show up. Although he was not a real big buck, he was the only buck that we had within bow range on the four days of hunting that I was in Hawaii. I had already got a good range on the deer that had walked through the same spot before, so since this was the last afternoon it was now or never. Under him. Okay, I just want to say a couple of things about shooting at 75 yards at an animal. The, um, today's modern compound bows are certainly capable of shooting those distances. However, th they're not a distance that you should shoot if you don't practice at those distances. You need to prepare for that kind of a shot. If you can see here, I've practiced a lot at 80 yards before I went to Hawaii. Uh, this is a grouping that I've had at 80 yards on the practice range. 
And I did that over and over and over. So don't feel like you can just go out there and shoot any distance you want. But if you prepare, these bows today can shoot those distances as long as you know where, they're, where your arrow will hit. Okay, and the second thing I wanted to say is that the farther away the animal when you're shooting with a bow, the more luck that is involved. I know there was a lot of luck involved in this shot. Uh, that deer did not hear my bow go off, but I believe he saw that arrow and that light had not coming, and he ducked at the last minute. Had he not ducked, I probably would have missed that deer. So there's going to be some luck involved, especially at those longer distances. Don't forget to like and subscribe.